the British vote. Now we have Donald Trump. He says, yes, he has read the book Clinton Cash. He read it so that he could put together yesterday's attack on Hillary Clinton. Watch this. Hillary Clinton's State Department approved the transfer of 20% of America's uranium holdings to Russia, while nine investors in the deal funneled $145 million to the Clinton Foundation. Hillary Clinton appointed a top donor to a national security board with top secret access. Hillary Clinton accepted $58,000 in jewelry from the government of Brunei when she was Secretary of State. To cover up her corrupt dealings, Hillary illegally stashed her State Department emails on a private server. Well, this seems like an appropriate moment to bring in the author of the book, Clinton Cash, which Mr. Trump had read before he made that speech. There it is, Clinton Cash. The author is Peter Schweitzer. Peter, welcome to the to the uh, program. It's good to see you with us again, sir. Thank you. Great to be back with you, Stuart. Now, the Clinton camp has counterattacked Mr. Trump's speech and your book, saying that there is no proof that money given to the Clinton Foundation had any impact on policy. What's your response <laughs> to that? Well, my thought is, look, I mean, I think everybody gets that money in politics is a problem, and that whether you're talking about Wall Street or big oil, they give money to politicians because they are expecting something into return. Uh, with the Clintons, it's not any different. The problem with the Clintons is the amounts are a lot larger because you have these speaking fees and the foundation, which other politicians don't have. But second of all, it's foreign money. It's not just Americans trying to you know, get favors or beneficial action from the American government. It's now foreign entities. So look, if they want us to all suspend belief and say that people are giving them, in some cases, hundreds of millions of dollars and not getting a thing in return, I guess they can make that argument. I think the American people are more sophisticated than that. Um, now, you've just said hundreds of millions of dollars. And now that's a lot of yeah. money, Peter. That is an awful lot of money. Is, is it that much? It just seems a shock to everybody that, that you, a foundation could accumulate that kind of money. Good Lord. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. I mean, in the in the case that uh, I, I did two chapters in the book on this Russia uranium deal, uh, uh, Donald Trump talked about it in his speech. The New York Times actually took our reporting and did a 4,000 word front page piece confirming all of it. You're talking about $145 million from shareholders in a very small Canadian uranium company that needed Hillary Clinton's State Department to approve the sale of their company to the Russian government. And what the Clintons want to say is that there was just this spontaneous outpouring of, of uh, benevolent donations by these shareholders and had no effect on her. Um, my point is, look, you know, we would like to find out what kind of communication might have taken place here. Uh, she deleted 30,000 emails. But the point is, this needs to be investigated. And I'm really, frankly, shocked that a lot of news outlets, uh, and I would name them, CNN, N NBC, for example, are not interested in pursuing this story. Uh, mm -hmm. This story came out, again, front page New York Times a year ago. It was in the book. Uh, Hillary Clinton has been on those networks numerous times, and she was not asked one single question about this transaction. Right. An amazing lack of curiosity. Well said, Peter Schweitzer, and thanks very much for being with us on a very busy news day, sir.